the top, I think, sci-fi films in my estimation would be 2001 for sure. I'd probably put that as number one. Really, the start of the film was Hal. The ship is actually driven by a computer. That's a first. He was even humorous. He defused his brain. We ended up singing Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do, didn't he? I think that's great. And then I think George Lucas's Star Wars, the one he did, I'd put that as number two. Then I'd do Alien Blade Runner. <laughs> I'm not going to be modest about that. I think we got it really right in Blade Runner, which is a, in a way is a problem because Blade Runner has been a very strong influence on lots of other films, which is nice, it's amusing, but it's boring. You've got to move on, you've got to move forward, right? And it's hard to move forward because I think I landed first on real dystopia and then everything else is a variation on dystopia. But there were one or two films start to get made I thought were quite good when I was in my teens. The one I thought was really good was more about the Cold War with Gregory Peck, and it was called On the Beach with Eva Gardner, and it's the end of the atomic war, and the only area left, ironically, is Australia. That's a good film to get, very good, beautiful black and white movie. It's when they're really original which really counts, a jump forward, quantum leap forward.